James Dyson Award has contestants from all over the globe. From each country that enters, we have a single winner and two runners-up. The top 20 shortlist stage is where we take the winners and the runner-ups and decide which ones are going to make it to that top 20. That shortlist then gets presented to James Dyson himself and he picks the winners. Being a top 20 judge, it was really exciting being able to see what Young Inventors had created. There's such a diverse mix of ideas and solutions across all of the entries this year. This sparked a lot of debate. It's really difficult. Tough is a good, yeah. good word to describe it. All of the concepts, all of the ideas put in, absolutely brilliant. Really, it covered a whole range of very exciting problems. Medical issues. Climate change. Disabilities. Education. Sustainability. Genuinely trying to fix real problems. The things that make an entry top 20 quality are really honing in on a real problem. A clear solution that is practical in tackling the problem. The ones that really stood out were those that had prototypes and they've really tried it, thought about their target audience. Iterations of design, build, test, learn. The real value is the journey, ideally with the people that are going to be using it. I would encourage students to enter the award to get their voices heard for the projects they're making. It gives them a chance to explore the process of going from an idea to a project to a pitch at a much higher level than they may have done before. Entering the award will give you a huge confidence boost. And you'll have the opportunity to win prize money and huge media exposure. It's just a really incredible thing to be a part of. I know if I was back at uni, I would definitely enter. You might be the next award winner, who knows? So just put yourself out there.